Kelly in Denmark. Welcome to my channel. And uh, today I'm going to work on my uh, belt sander again. On top of the tower I talked about in my last video. I have to have this, this roller sitting on a tilting mechanism that uh, will uh, allow for tracking the belt and um, I again decided uh, the top of the tower is uh, a unit uh, completely uh, out of any relation to the rest of the machine so I made the top of the tower in the first place just as a, a piece of uh, tubing stock here with a tension spring no, a compression spring. I learned it's a compression spring. Inside and on the top of this tower here, I'll make a mechanism that can tilt where the roller here should go here. With a handle on this side for adjusting. And now I'm, I have prepared there a piece of of um, stock that go inside here to uh, fasten the, the um, tilting mechanism here to the rest of the, the system. And now I need to drill a hole through here for the pivot point of this here. So I use my mechanics clamp here and uh, made a little distance here so that there's room for tilting this piece when this inner piece is locked in fact welded to the inside of this pipe so now I'm going to drill this hole 8 millimeter through now I set it up in the mill and uh, these parallels here ensure that this piece is down and then parallel with the bed. And uh, I can't squeeze it that hard because in fact it's only this, the side wall here on this 10 millimeter tubing that is connecting the two jaws. But I can hold it, and I can hold it enough for drilling this hole, I think. So, uh, and now I've centered over the, the cross and uh, ready to drill. I'm trying not to talk while the machine is running. <clears throat> It's a pilot hole and now an eight. That's it. Yeah, now I deburred the holes on both sides and now I'll Oh, it's nice. We we'll have to find some shorter a shorter bolt here. 
Yeah, let's take it apart. Yeah. Let's see how it... a lot of moisture in the air these days so this will sit here and I have to find out where in this direction here and then this should go over here and with the bolt in it I think I'll have this surface and this surface aligned and then weld it, weld this inner piece here to the small pipe and then I have plenty of room here for the, the roller mounted here. I don't think it, it'll need that amount of, of um, movement, but um, I can't know by now. So now I have to drill for the, the roller, the axle for the roller, through here, space for the, the um, nut, and on the other side here, I have to have a, a handle that can adjust this. I'll uh, make a, a bolt for my tracking mechanism here. And um, I had a regular um, 8mm bolt, but uh, there's no need for, for nuts in this case here. So I'll just make a a bolt with a head and on the other end a washer and a, a cross hold with a split in it or a cutter or what you call it. Here I got it. It was a little hard to drill that tiny little hole in uh, stainless steel. The next problem is to get the cutter pin inside it is a little small the hole the pin is a little big but uh, I'll have to struggle with that when times come and um, that's how it's supposed to work thin washer here and the cutter pin. I think it's called a cutter pin, right? There. Nice, nice. Yeah. Next I have to prepare this here in the, the tower and I think I'll need to round it a little like a ball so that the adjusting screw and this here is two balls meeting on the surface. Maybe a ball on the, at the adjusting screw and a no, that isn't good. It has to be two balls meeting. Two balls meeting, yes. I've rounded off uh, the end here 
in the distance I believe is right. But how much do I need to have to adjust here? And uh, I think if I set a square on here, then this crowning part here I'll have to adjust to that as a mini as a outer point this way this way this way and uh, the outer point the other way will be a square to the other crowning on this side here in fact, that's very, very small adjustments. Very, very small adjustments. Is that really right? Why should I need to go that far? It doesn't make sense. Square to this, down here, and there, this is, uh, from this edge here to this, it's square. It is in fact a very, very small adjustment you have to have. I think it is right. Now I made uh, this, I changed it, this uh, piece here so that it can come up front here. So the pivot point will be a little closer to the, the front of the machine. and. Um, that's because I need to have the possibility to to um, tilt the tracking roller backwards too, and I think that that'll do it. I know it'll do it. Um, and now I can't show you right because. It's a little difficult to hold it, but now the angle here from this tower to the bottom of, the, of this surface, or this surface here, this angle here is square. And that means that the tracking roller is tilted a little backwards, and it has to come forwards to and I think it'll need only that few millimeters of movement there. Yeah. So what to do now? Now I'll think I'll just destroy it all. You know uh, how by tick welding this piece to here. I won't even let you see my very very bad uh, tick welding. So uh, I ground it here, and it's. Uh, so, and when it's down there, the angle with this surface, you can't see it probably, but um, I'm a little over, so I'm a little too long back here, but that's not a problem, I think. And uh, of course I can go so far here, so I think it'll do it now. Now I have to make the handle back here. So I can move this in and out. Today I made the last uh, of my um, tracking mechanism to the belt sander. And um, 
I'll set it up here and um, I think you've seen this part here but the handle back here I have this handle made uh, in a, as a template for handles because I use it in many of my projects I'll have to use a handle and why not make a template so you can do it the same time every time and I weld it on here a piece of of uh, hex stock with a threaded hole in it to press on the back of this ball here and um, I can adjust the tracking roller here from from uh, a little over if I ah, if I take a square here you can see there I'm a little a little too long back <coughs> but uh, that's not a problem I think and then uh, with this handle here I can I can move the the roller to this point here and that's way over 90 degrees on the a other uh, crowning angle there so I think that's that's way too too much for adjusting so um, in the end uh, adjusting for tracking isn't very much <laughs> I think because I have to try it and see if it works. So uh, this part of the uh, the tracking mechanism, uh, in the, and it is the tracking mechanism, is finished now. Um, and what I then uh, missed to make from this tower is the tension. And uh, I miss a spring, and I am looking for a, uh, a spring suitable for this purpose here. So uh, I'll stall this part of the project, and then um, start making the pattern for the main uh, belt drive uh, sitting directly on the motor. And I have to make a pattern before I can cast it. So uh, I'll start to... Uh, do that casting, do that uh, pattern now and then uh, return to this part of the project when I find a, uh, a spring that uh, can be used for, for it. So uh, next uh, will be the pattern for the main drive wheel.